Go at night, I cry. Things I wish I knew before moving out of my parents' house. Welcome to Plotmas Day 7. I do have clothes on. As you know, I recently moved into this place. So that being said, today I wanted to do a video for what people moving out of their parents' home and what my experience has been so far. Maybe it can help somebody. Things I wish I knew before moving out of my parents' house the first time. One of the things that I highly, highly underestimated was budgeting, which you may think, oh, duh, you have to budget or whatever. When I moved the first time, I thought I had it all figured out. I literally was so rude to my mom. Right now, I can say, mommy, I'm sorry, you were so right. When you move out, it's not just about having the money to pay your rent or um, the living expenses that you think are sufficient because it's a lot of hidden costs, hidden things that you have to pay for as an adult. I think do not buy things that you don't need. And I know that this is really, really hard, especially the second time moving out because when I was moving, I was just really in a rush to get out of the place because um, we hired movers, thank God. Yeah, I was just in a rush to, to get out and I was like, I wanted to throw away everything because when you move, you want new stuff. It's like an impulse. It was my car expenses. At the time, I just bought my first car. Uh, and I knew like how much it cost for like my car payment and my gas. Because I didn't really travel a lot. So I wish that I had sat down, put into place like the cost of insurance. Because at the time when I was living with my mom, she paid for my insurance. And I didn't even know how much that cost. That. So just be prepared for like hidden costs or whatever, whatever you think that you have saved or need, maybe save like another half, just like an emergency fund. I really recommend like doing like a spreadsheet of your fixed costs and also whatever costs that are not fixed. For example, for me, it's like my beauty maintenance, like my nails, um, my lashes, my hair, um, try to reduce those. Whether you're a male or female, it's literally a life skill that everybody needs. So I wish that I, I, before I moved, I wish I knew like my mom's full recipes for the things that I loved and I wish that I had her grocery list that would have saved me so much money because a lot of my food did go bad just because I bought what I thought I was, um, I bought what I thought I was supposed to or things that I saw, recipes I saw online that I hadn't tried before but they looked good. <laughs> talk to your mom. If you don't have a mom, talk to your auntie who cooks or learn to cook and learn quick quick easy recipes because you're gonna have a hard time or either that you're gonna become really unhealthy by eating out a lot which i went through that phase but thank god i have a habit of working out so i didn't gain too much weight um either that or you're gonna lose a lot of weight but not by not eating the right food oh my gosh you don't have to have it all together um i know i just said and I just said, oh, if, if you can live with your parents, like, make sure you fit yourself up. But you don't have to have it all together. You don't have to know everything. You don't have to. Please don't sit down and think, oh, I have to live with my mom until I do this research. Trust me, you know enough. The things I'm telling you are the things that you need to brush up on and make sure that you know a lot of, like, cooking and budgeting skills, financial literacy, those things. You do have to know most uh most of it before you do move uh, because you, you're gonna have a really, really hard time. And I'm saying this stuff because I've gone through it myself, so I'm here to warn you. I'll give you some insight, I guess. When I moved the first time, I did feel like I had to have it all. And <laughs> if you're anything like me, I did look at people. I did look at my favorite influencers online. I'm like, oh my gosh, your life seems so put together. But I'm here to tell you, and I'm pretty sure you know, people don't show you all of what they're going through. Um, I definitely went through some phases of just like difficulty, like adapting, being by myself all the time, especially because I grew up with my siblings around. Uh, before I moved in with my mom when I was 14, I like had my grandma who we had cousins around all the time so it, it's very lonely so something i was looking forward to 
but I say that to say you don't have to have it all figured out and don't be fooled by people on the internet thinking that their life is together nobody nobody even the people that you think have it together it's just they're still figuring it out everyone has struggles in their own right um, and you shouldn't to be too hard on yourself for example i thought i had to have the perfect apartment the perfect boyfriend <laughs> at the time it really mattered to me who my boyfriend was um and the perfect job but when I moved, I quickly, there was a time I didn't work for months. Actually, the first entire year, I didn't work at all. At all. <laughs> I didn't work at all. I was in college. Um, and I actually had a hard time finding work. I worked as a trainer here and there, but it really wasn't anything like, it didn't make a dent in my financial needs at the time. Are always going to work out the way they're supposed to. But I will say this, don't. Um, paralyze yourself either you know you know enough get up and go if it's something that you need to do get up and go I, moving and living by yourself is rewarding in the sense that you have more freedoms um to really explore who you are and like figure your life out and the trajectory in which you want to take it build us a routine right now like i said i just moved into this unit so i don't really have my full routine and i also did start a new job um, so it's kind of been difficult for me, but build a routine. The first time that I moved, now I can stand here and tell you honestly how that important, how important that is. The first time I moved, I didn't have a routine, and honestly, that first year flew by. I didn't know where anything was. I was really unorganized. I wasn't working. I wasn't consistent with my YouTube or yeah get a routine super super important whatever that looks like for you have like five things that you have to do every day um every day no matter what you have to do these five things right? see there were nights i cried i literally freaking cried because i didn't know how i would pay my rent and my bills and my car note i thought i was gonna be homeless like several nights that happened to me and i was just literally in a bubble and i have so much pride i was like i'm not asking my mom because i mean she tried to warn me but i didn't listen so i didn't want to go back to her and be like mommy please help so she had no idea everybody thought that i was doing great but i was really like going through it um and that can take a toll on like your overall mental health so there was times when i was just really lonely um trying to figure it out how am i going to do this you know so if you find yourself in that situation first of all know that you're not alone and know that if you're going through it right now um it won't last right as long as you don't give up you only become a loser when you stop trying i never stopped trying and here i am today beautiful still <laughs> uh in a, a mentally sane not homeless because i didn't give up and i kept trying to figure out figure out ways to create income and revenue for myself also if you really are in that situation don't be like me and have so much pride ask for help ask for help the people you love that love you they want to help ask for help but also don't be helpless try to figure out ways to um get yourself out of the situation i'm gonna finish this real quick live independently the biggest thing or takeaway please have your finances in order once you do that then everything every other problem that may come at least you're gonna be have some type of peace of mind because i know people say 
happiness but i'll tell you one thing though it definitely buys you peace um i was not peaceful for a while um the first time that i moved and i used credit cards and all that stuff it was a, a nasty nasty situation that i had to dig myself out of thank god and also i really want to say my situation was absolutely different my situation obviously is gonna be look totally different from yours um i did go to college so that definitely helped me in the job market I did go to college uh for health administration and i also i'm a certified paralegal so i was always able to find work and i'm also a certified trainer so whatever happened to me i knew that i would be fine and ha find some work so if you're anything like me if you're skilled in any particular field then you'll be fine but i will say before anything resorts to that um have an emergency fund uh, that's something that i definitely wish I, I mean i did know that but i wish if somebody drove it home how important that was i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye